Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and today I'm going to show you how to set up VS Visual Synthesizer with the Reaper DAW. It's quite a simple setup, so let's get right into it. I have three tracks here, three VST instrument tracks with the three DRCs playing, so let's hear it. We have a bass, a lead, and this high pitched sound playing. And the first thing that we're going to do is create, uh, put our VS here. So let's choose VS, Visual Synthesizer, and we have it here. Now, the first thing we can do, the, the routing in two ways. We can, for example, go here to DRC1 and press and hold and root it. You can see that the icon changed and root it to VS. This menu pops up and all we have to do is go here and change from post fader post pan to pre-fx and change the MIDI from all to channel 1. So now we will be receiving, so we can go here to VS, we will be receiving on channel 1, channel 1 MIDI trigger. We already have the first MIDI playing here. So now the second way in which we can do this is actually go to the routing on the VS itself here. And as you can see, you can, we have the receives here. It's already here, DRC1. It's receiving MIDI from uh, DRC1. So now we can go to DRC2. Again, pre-FX. And change to MIDI channel 2. Now let's do it to the third. Pre-FX. MIDI channel 3. So now, if I go to VS, I can choose here another, let's choose another shape. Turn it on, and now channel 2, trigger MIDI, and it's playing the lead as you can see. Now let's go for the third, choose for example this comet, and turn trigger MIDI to channel 3. Enable, and now we have the Comet playing <coughs> the th third MIDI channel. Now, last but not least, let's route audio to uh, VS. So what I'm going to do is create uh, an empty track here, and I'm going <coughs> to grab the three uh, VST channels, and I'm going to group them inside uh, channel 1. Okay, like this. And now we have them all already routed here to channel one. And now the only thing I have to do is go here to the routing and add a new receive and choose channel one. So now, as you can see, it's playing, but it's really loud because it's doubling the channel one and on VS it's also going to master. So all we have to do is now mute the audio on VS so it doesn't go to the master like this. Now we open VS and we are receiving all the tracks here. You can choose which ones you send to the you want to send to VS by choosing which ones you want to group inside the, the, the group to, to, to VS. You can also put here VS audio send for example and you know that everything is being sent here. So now I can choose another Pattern, for example, this one, enable, trigger MIDI, uh, no, trigger MIDI, no, let's use audio modulator. We, can, we have to turn off the brightness here on EG1 to zero. Now drop the brightness to zero and use the audio modulator to trigger it. So now this layer is being triggered by this threshold, as you can see in audio. It's quite a simple setup and very efficient to, to use, guys. So now we have three MIDIs and one audio track triggering VS. And this was it, guys. I really hope you have uh, you liked this tutorial and it was easy to understand. We will be doing more of this. So if you like, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. For now, goodbye, guys.